today I'm going to teach you how I do a hill climb, okay? There's a specific body position that you need to have while doing a hill climb that uh, I've been taught many times and that's really important if you want to do crazy stuff like this. All right, guys, so a while ago, a good buddy of mine, Oklahoma KLR, saw me riding along this trail in one of my videos, and he saw this hill climb, and he said, that looks like a beast. I'm on Red Sonia. I think I can take it a little bit easier on that and try to explain the body positioning as I'm heading up it. Of course, on a GoPro, this hill is always going to look pathetic, but that hill, I can assure you, is a beast. It's maybe 45 degrees and uh, loose sand and dirt. So I'm going to try my very hardest to get up it. I'm going to be in second gear because that way my back wheel is not spinning really fast and, it, and it, uh, if the front wheel is, is going it's good to crawl but the first gear is terrible for steep hill climbs because if you goose it just a little bit or if you hit a bump that's a little bit sketchy because they're granted it's going to get sketchy going up that thing. If you hit that uh, you're going to loop the bike uh, maybe on top of you. So first gear I don't know, it depends on how low it is, it depends on your style. Uh, for me, I'm going to stick it in second today and see if I can make it up this, because this bike is geared really low. Um, so enough of the talking and sitting still, let's get the adrenaline pumped up and go up this hill. Now I'm going to get as far up over the bars as I possibly can, and uh, just kind of ease up it. I mean, you can see how slow I took that. That's another reason why you might want to get a tiny bike. I mean, it was slick and muddy, and that was um, that was really not hard at all, and all that adrenaline was just completely wasted. <laughs> all right, so here I am, obviously, back here in the sunshine, uh, faith, faith and fear coming this way. I'm on my DRZ 400, the Black Widow. It's a venerable motorcycle for those of you guys who haven't seen it before. Uh, it was heavily modified by my really good friend, Mr. Duff Actor. Uh, he did the suspension. He did some... Uh, air work, he did some jetting. Uh, now it does have a DRZ engine in it and a smaller sprocket in the front, so it's got a, it's a little more torquey down low. And now I'm going to go up on, on the DRZ 400, and I've got this camera here to hopefully show you. I mean, it's not going to, it's just basically going to be showing my crotch. All right, first gear. So uh, basically what I've got to do is get way up over the tank. But like I said in a, a previous video, the video about which size of motorcycle is best for you, size comes into play and weight comes into play on uh, tricky obstacles like this. Now you saw how easy the CRF ate it up. Anyway, let's see if we can uh, get up this thing in slow motion and first gear on a bigger bike. All right, so I'm looking far ahead. Gets a little bit squirrely right there, but really not. Nothing too shabby, nothing too brutal. Now the thing is, is the uh, I had to keep poking my butt out a little bit, going back and forth to uh, get the back wheel, get the back tire uh, some traction. Because if you're all up over the front, yeah, you have a little bit more control, but uh, the traction kind of goes out the back door, which isn't a bad thing all the time because you don't want to have full traction because you might loop the bike. Second gear. All right, let's uh, carry a little oomph into it. Now that's a lot more exciting to do it that way, but as far as easy goes, uh, I don't know, that's also pretty easy. <laughs> the Black Widow's pretty awesome. All right, so we're just gonna crawl up this thing at first. We're gonna see how slowly I can do it. Just how mellow. And uh, just pay attention to the body positioning here. Oh, this is a lot harder to do it this way. we go. Now realistically, I guess I was just up over the bars that whole time. All right, so uh, one last thing. I know I keep prolonging this video, but uh, this is kind of like the grand trifecta of hill climbs right here. We have uh, basically some really rocky nastiness right here, followed with, you know, some gravelly stuff. I'm going to go over there and I'm going to go up a really short rip that's nearly straight up. Uh, and then I'm going to pop over that ridge and come over here and kind of go on a more endurance style 
uh, hill climb right there, and I'll just kind of, I mean, once again, I'm not a pro or anything like that. I'm not racing uh, enduro cross or anything like that. Um, just kind of a dual sport guy on a pretty typical dual sport motorcycle uh, as far as engine and gearing and uh, suspension is incredible. I got to say that. Uh, my suspension is awesome. Hopefully you can kind of see my body position from this front front camera here and I'll try to kind of narrate what I'm doing as I go along. I might lose focus because some of this is pretty difficult. So uh, anyway, let's let's hit the really rocky nasty stuff. I've opted to go into second gear here. You gotta give it a little oomph once in a while. All right, I made it up that. Now again on the GoPro, none of this is gonna look bad. That's actually not too bad. This is more straight up right here. So uh, let's get it in second. And this is gonna need a short rip with a, some of that on the top. Second gear, uh, I'm gonna opt to keep it in second for this still. And on this one, I'm gonna need to stand up more and really keep my eyes up ahead because it gets it gets just nasty up here. That's almost straight up right there. So it worked, all right? Second gear did the did the job right there. Now it's time to go down it, which is uh, almost harder than going up. At least it's, it is for me. It's just kind of boring to me, but we're gonna try to go up that really gnarly one right there. This one kind of had a turn and some more obstacles, but that one is really gravelly and super gnarly. So uh, let's get it in first. Let's get way back with our butt over the seat, our foot covering the rear brake. Apply the brakes equally to go down this crap. There we go. Not bad at all. Let's head down and do it again. This time we'll try to pick a more difficult line. Uh, this time I'm gonna go on a, on a line that I've never attempted before. You can see right there just how big. Oh, you know what? That's, I think that's just too much. Let me go look at this thing. Uh, this comes up to about my, I don't know, maybe a belly button. So realistically, it's not that crazy as far as like an enduro rider goes. But uh, for a guy on a dual sport bike, that's pretty hairy. We're gonna, we're gonna go for it, hit it, see what comes out of it. I think I'm just gonna come right up, right up like that. This is the beautiful bike, Black Widow DRZ400. Phenomenal motorcycle. All right, I think second's gonna work. This is a big step up. All right, get pumped. I'm, I can do it. I can do it. The motorcycle can do it, definitely. And uh, I think I can too, so. Second gear, way up over the bars. There we go. All right, so now I'm gonna go right straight up here. There's a big old rock outcropping at the top. Second gear handled it, got up over the bars. All right, this is where things are gonna get nasty. Right up here, I gotta get Plenty of grip on the back tire, holy crap! <laughs> I did not realize that, <laughs> that <laughs> this is just straight up. Holy cow. I got a blinker on, bikes. <laughs> oh, that was awesome. <laughs> Let's flip the blinker off there. Man, I almost made it. I would've made it if I would've stayed up over the bars, guys. That's another thing is you gotta look at the line you're going on. This is uh, not a not a tasty line right there. Now for the lesson two on how to get your bike down a hill. This my rack is gonna be hurting for this. But uh, oh crap! You know what? It is. It broke again. That same spot right there, it's broken a couple of different times. Dang, I'm feeling really bad. Damon, Tyler, they worked really hard on this thing. My roto packs totally is, can't, came off, so I oh, feel bad about that, but I'm leaking gas, so better get it out of the way. It's just not a sound you ever like to hear. Okay. Yeah, that snapped the uh, roto pack thing right off. Too bad. Still in gear, that's a good thing. That way it's not rolling back. Here's how to take it down the hill after you've crashed unceremoniously. It's in gear, that's what's keeping it from rolling backwards. So you get your hand on the front brake, which feels really loose and squeaky. And then uh, you can release the clutch and that'll allow the bike to roll backwards a little bit. 
you want to stay on the hill side of the bike so if it does go over it doesn't come down on you when you're like this you can start taking the front tire and doing this kind of a thing and that way you're not uh, exerting more energy to get it down the hill and then you can get on the bike again and uh, slowly let in the clutch and so you start to go and as soon as you can back up on the pegs and get your butt backwards and just kind of coast this thing down the hill oh and then you do the damage assessment well adventures in hill climbing right this one's a sketchy one because you've got to uh, you got to keep that throttle on but once you hit the the upper part of it uh, I should have scouted it out but once you hit up there uh, there's not much you can do about it and if that thing tosses you back on your seat you the back tire grips you lose control on the front tire and you loop it like I did yeah that's <laughs> this makes what I did in the beginning down there look like child's play and this is up a burly super rocky slippery All right, everything feels pretty solid. Got a squeaky brake lever, but other than that, everything seems looks fine. Oh, good old dual sport motorcycles. So much fun. Well, ever riders, thanks so much for watching me. Uh, didn't make it up the hill. That'll be for another day once I get this rack fixed. But uh, it's fun to have you along. Hopefully, you learned some good stuff both from my successes and my failures. <laughs> if you don't mind, uh, if you like watching dual sport motorcycle videos, mostly on the dirt, why don't you go ahead and hit the subscribe button. If you liked what you saw, learned a little bit, go ahead and hit the like button. And uh, if you make videos of your own, let me know, and I'll come, uh, come give your channel a little visit. Much love, ever ride out. We can't do it no more. We can't do the show anymore.